Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. All right, I've already watched the game for a second time, and man, it got even better the second time around. We'll start with the defensive side of the ball this time. Man, I thought the defense played a really, really good game, especially from the defensive tackle position, Brian Bruce and those guys. They set the tone up the middle, man, not being able to uh, you know, let the Cowboys do what they want up the middle. That was our biggest issue on that defensive line. We were the substitute runs up the middle with Sanders, Shepard, and Brissy. They've kind of figured that out. Obviously, Sanders is still hurt right now, but the defensive front, especially up the middle, has figured it out. Uh, and I didn't mention it in the first game, but boy, those linebackers, man, those linebackers are really good. I, I mean, I mentioned Demario Davis because he had a lot of tackles, but I didn't put enough emphasis on how good Demario Davis is at this point in his career. He's 35 years old. Man, he's still looking like he's an all-pro player. And Pete Warner, I guess he signed that deal. He's coming to himself. He's, play, he's had a really, really good start to the season. Only been two games. I think that Orgy and then the Willie Gay signing has kind of put that pressure on him as, hey, you better show up or... Your spot can get take. I mean, get taken. So um, he's performed especially well in these first two games, especially this game against the Cowboys. Flying around the ball, um, especially in the run game, he's been looking really, really good. So Demario Davis and Pete Warner, that tandem is looking really, really good right now. Uh, and it's a big, a big thing for the Saints defense that's kind of going unnoticed. That tandem is really, really good. Uh, we get a lot of credit to that secondary who's been outstanding since the preseason. Got a couple picks today in the defensive line with Granderson, Chase Young, Grissi, obviously Cam Jordan out there. They've getting a lot of credit. And obviously DeMario gets his credit. But him and Pete Warner together has been a really, really good duo for the Saints. Also, man, Kool-Aid, he had a really, really good game. And Elante Taylor had a really, really good game. And Paulson Adebo had a really, really good game. The one thing I do like about the Saints defense is they fly everywhere man those cornerbacks aren't scared to hit they're not scared to get their head their shoulders in that that run game uh on that screen game those guys are really flying to the ball and that makes your defense just so much better when you get your secondary flying to the ball like that not scared to make tackles all those guys are physical strong and i really really like that from our secondary none of those guys are scared to play football you know you got a lot of seconds there just want to cover uh if they catch the ball we just kind of throwing our arms out there don't want to tackle these guys are going hit like they're linebackers and I really, really like that from the Saints, man. They got those cornerbacks hitting, so that's a damn good job. Um, so, yeah, defense, man, really, really good job from the defense. Offensive side of the ball, once again, Derek Carr with command of the offense. It look, it's looking really good. The timing on the motions, uh, play actions, and things like that. Everything is going well for this offense. They're clicking on all cylinders. It's like they're moving like it's week 9, week 10 already. Like, I mean, the offense, it has to get better. I'm sure Kubiak hasn't shown his full arsenal of offense yet. So this is just the tip of the iceberg with the Saints offense, and it's already looking really, really good. Hey, man, and credit to Jamal Williams. I didn't mention him in that first video. Oh, I glossed over it. But, man, he's, he's running well. He's running well. And that's what happens when you get a power back man, a guy that needs a system for him. He's looking very, very good as that backup running back right now. And that's good because you, you want Taysom in there to get some carries, but you really want a running back back there do that backup running back role because you still want to use Taysom as that tight end, that quarterback, wildcat package, fullback, and things like that. So you really don't want to have him to be running back too, but that's really, really good. Also, when Kendra Miller gets healthy, I think this system is going to, oh my God, I think this is a perfect system for him. So he needs to get healthy fast. He needs to get healthy fast because I really, really want to see him in this system for the Saints, man, because I think it'll be significant for him. Very, very significant. Talked about the receivers enough. Tight ends wasn't involved in the passing game as much. But, man, if you watch the video, they're chipping on Parsons. They're chipping on Lawrence. They really, really helped us in that passing game and in the run game. We'll break the film down when it gets down to it. But really, really good job by them, even though it doesn't show up in the stat sheet. It's a lot of things that didn't show up in the stat sheet that are really, really good from, these, from the team. And, you know, I'll, I'll cover that because I don't miss anything once we get, uh, jump into that all-22 breakdown. So really, really good job. And I'm looking forward Looking forward, man. We got the Eagles. They play Monday Night Football against the Falcons. So we'll be we'll all be Eagles fans just for just for Monday. Then after that, the Eagles are the op. So I'm glad we can all kind of watch that Eagles game. That's that's a good thing, man. When the fan base gets to watch the Eagles in prime time, we can all kind of figure out, hey, this is what they do. Everybody will know kind of coming into the game. Oh, this is what the Eagles do well, this is what they do bad from one game. So We'll all figure that out together. Uh I watch that game Monday night, see what they're looking like. Uh, obviously it's a really, really good team, but man, super, super ecstatic on where this can go. Super, super ecstatic on where this could go, man. I, like I said, I would like a little more pass rush from someone not named Carl Granderson, even though it's not bad right now. I'm not, I've got a nitpick. You got to find something that's wrong. You got to, everything can't be perfect. So a little bit more pass rush will be good. Other than that, man, I really can't find any bad thing to say about the Saints. I really love what's going on. 
Should we buy into the Saints right now, man? I can just ask, I can just pose that question, talk about it for one or two minutes. Don't want to get too, too deep into it. I'll give me about five weeks. Give me into about after that Chiefs game, after that Bucks game, and then we can have a real, real good discussion on what the Saints are going to look like. Because I'll obviously do the first quarter grades, second quarter grades. That's every four games. I'll do some quarter grades and uh, kind of see, you know, grade everybody out, how they've been playing from the head coach to the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, O-line, D-line. Everybody will kind of get a grade from me, even special teams guys. So we'll look at that when that time comes. But 2-0, and man, 1-0 and at home. One and on the road, we got a big one against Philadelphia coming up, but I really, really like uh, what happened. A couple injuries scared me. Taysom went uh, to the hospital to get checked out. Uh, Tyron Matthew, that calf injury, it, it came up. Nothing too major because he, he continued to play for Waga, that back injury. We'll see how that goes, man. But really, really good job. And also, Trevor Penny, man, you got to congratulate Trevor Penny. Everyone thought coming into this game at the beginning of the season, Trevor Penny was going to get his ass kicked this week, including me. I'm not just saying y'all. Me too. Trevor Penning showed up the first two games. I'm not saying he's been an all-pro right tackle out there, but we haven't seen plays like, oh, my God, why is he out there? Oh, my God, Trevor Penning this, Trevor Penning that. I don't care if he's getting help. I don't care what's going on. He's playing well enough where it's not hurting this offense, and that's all you can ask for. If he's an average tackle, his first year fully starting, that's really, really good, and maybe the first-round pick isn't such a waste. I'm not... I'm not ready to say that yet, that it's not a waste of a first-round pick because we still have a long way to go. Obviously, that left tackle is looking really, really good, year one. But Trevor Penning's coming along, man. Reese is coming along. Patrick on that left guard is coming along. We already know we got McCord, but this offensive line has to come along. They still have to get better. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But if they keep coming along, keep working together as a unit, the thing is with our offensive line the last couple of years, we've never had five guys play together for like more than three or four or five games, man. Someone always gets hurt. We have to flip-flop, put somebody on the left, somebody on the right. Somebody got to go to center. So we got to keep these guys healthy for a number of games, let them guys play together, and let's see what happens. But, man, I'm really, really excited watching this game again. It was really damn good the second time around. I can't wait till the, um, till the film drop, and I can watch it a third time around. I might watch this one four times. Who knows? But it look, it's looking really, really good for the Saints. Uh, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I'll have more throughout the week as always, man. Uh, it's another another good game for the Saints. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all watched the game again or if you didn't get to comment on that first video, man, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. As always, this is the Blue Tragedies. I'm out.